All right, and we're back at it again. It's the gong show again. Are we going to get to use the gong today? I don't know. If not, we're not going to get through nearly as many of these as I'd hope. But now the option is there. That's right. In case you missed it last week, you now have 90 seconds to impress me. I don't have a physical gong yet. All right, I'm sorry. I'm working on it. But if you don't impress me in 90 seconds, you're getting cut. Sorry, there's just not enough time. So here we go. Bob Lowe. Hey, Trey, here's my submission. And it's only three and five minutes long. Thanks, Big Kid. Major Legacy by Big Kid. That's a fun groove. second guitar solo, okay. All right, that was weird, but fun. This to me had that like, kind of like true metal spirit, just like a fun groove. Yeah, just kind of like an old school metal vibe. Nothing too fancy, a little bit, but kept me going through the whole thing. I feel like the drums could have been a bit more varied, but I liked the grooves, just like, differentiate the parts a bit more, but overall, I really liked this. I thought it was fun, and I like fun. Up next, Rob's. Hey Trey, I'm Rob from Germany. Thanks for this nice little contest. Hope you enjoy the German lyrics. It is under four minutes. Und der vier Minuten? I wrote this song just for this contest, and I pulled out my very best at the guitar, and even wrote and recorded my first solo. Wer wind seht entet Sturm? She is from Germany. Rob's. Robsess. Is that like an abscess, but it's Robsess? Just so everybody knows, having a video will not increase your chances of winning the contest. I can see that you need new bass strings. Oh, I think maybe you need new guitar strings too. <laughs> Ich 
I speak just enough German to catch like every third or fourth word in a conversation if people are speaking quickly. But combined with metal vocal style, I just gotta hope you're not saying anything terrible. I should probably Google what the title means. Just in case. They sow the wind and reap the whirlwind. Maybe it's like storm. Storm is probably storm. That's right. I took. I took chair. The Vincent entered storm. That's right, I took I took chairman. Cool. It's pretty uh pretty banging. Here comes the solo, the aforementioned guitar solo. First one ever. You fucking disappoint me, Rob. Okay. Nothing fancy. That sounded good. The whole, that's your whole woe part? You only did it once. I like that little in between bit. I thought that was more interesting than most of the things we've got going on here. That's right, I took I took chair. I knew that was coming. Yeah. Fick Deutsch. Fick Deutsch. <laughs> Fuck you too, Rob. I know what Fick Deutsch means. That's right. It's funny because if you say it fast, it sounds like you're saying Fick Deutsch, which means fuck German, but I love German and Germans. All right, Rob, that was pretty cool. I liked that. Once again, very true metal. Felt like you went through a lot of metal cliches in a very short period of time. They all sounded good. So no flies on you, but I think there's probably some stuff that you could do to make it a little less. Just sounds like a billion other metal bands. So you need to do something to stick out a bit, even though there's nothing wrong with it exactly. There's nothing that really differentiates you from a lot of other bands that sound very similar, but it was pretty solid sounding all the way through and you had a hook. And if I can remember a hook in a different language, that's a good hook. Robbie Soden. So then we listen to your song. Hello there. My name isn't there. <laughs> Please try to ignore the production quality. I have tried my best with the crappy gear I have. That's all I ask. Cheers from New Zealand. I can't really do a Kiwi accent, so I'll spare you. Luckily, it's not a production contest, so I'm I am perpetually trying to hear through the production of everybody's songs, and that's okay. I'm thinking of basically all of these as like demos for the most part, you know, because song exists whether or not there's a great recording of it, if that makes any sense. All right, but you still got to get to the point. So 
all the things inside of me I don't want you to know Cause all the things inside of me They're not for show I spend hours in my head like I'm safe there Overthinking, not sleeping I spend hours in my head I feel like your intro was way too long Especially considering it's basically the same thing that you're singing over here. It's a bit of a downer, but I can a hundred percent relate to these lyrics. Anxiety keeps you up at night. All the I do not sleep well. Spin inside my head. Leads me. That's a dumb lyric. That's a dumb lyric. They're, they're not for show. Just because it rhymes doesn't mean it's insecure. It's myself. Okay. This felt like two thirds of a song. You need to cut that intro way down because it's already so much of the song. It's the same thing that you're singing over when it, when the vocals come in. So you don't really have to introduce it. Actually, maybe you should cut out everything up until right where you start singing and just go right in. Songs don't have to have intros. You can just start. Check out the song Conspiring with the Damned by Black Dahlia Murder. I love that. Just straight in. Actually, the count in is his voice. Everybody feels like you gotta have some kind of intro, and you don't. Sometimes, especially if nobody knows who you are and they're not expecting anything, you don't wanna make them sit through 30 seconds of an intro. Just go. I thought it, a lot of this was really good. Just because you sing on the demo of a song doesn't mean that you're gonna be the singer. You can write a song with vocals and everything, a complete arrangement, and then give it to somebody else who's really a singer to learn it and sing it. Maybe they'll make some changes, you know, because it was a little hard to tell exactly what the melody was, what you were going for, because some of it was like so pitchy that I couldn't tell exactly what notes you were going for, which is why when it comes to songwriting, I always recommend that people very liberally use pitch correction, because the only thing that matters when you're making the demo is that whoever's going to be singing it understands what you were going for. You can also just use like a keyboard and play in the vocal melody as you want it to be if you're writing it not for yourself to sing. So I actually thought from a songwriting perspective, this was pretty good. It needs to be a bit more complete and also get rid of a lot of that intro. Ataragatis. Adaragatis. Oh, how do you say that? Don't have a ton of time to do this, but threw this together for you. Hope it does good. Thanks. I don't know why you're English now. The song is called Adara. It's saying called the same thing as. It's a pretty cool riff. Do you think that was a girl who broke his heart? Tara for short. Oh, a story.
now for something completely different. Why must you hate me for my beauty? Now it's from a Taragatis perspective. to turn into a hook but but it's kind of working of the sea why do I feel like I'm at a screening of Rocky Horror or something well I'm interested to hear what happens was like pretty good it kind of felt really wordy some of the lyrics were pretty dumb i don't really like stuff that's that on the nose i enjoy a storytelling song to a certain extent but when it gets that wordy it's almost like well maybe you should just write a book instead of a song it kind of leaned away from poetry and towards prose if that makes any sense and what wound up happening is a lot of the lyrics came off kind of dumb and too much like a sentence you would just say to a person and not like poetry. But I listened all the way to the end to find out what happened in the story and then I spaced out a little bit because the song was kind of long. Like you went from like this triplet time or like a 6-8 kind of a thing and then just this like 4-4 four, four in the middle breakdown. That felt really forced to me. I don't think it added anything and I think if you're going to have a time signature change in a song, you got to have a really good reason to do it and that just felt like could have easily kept the general groove going with a more uh, broken down kind of a feel and I think it would have sounded a lot better that to me just sounded like and now for something completely different but not bad Lucas Hackstein Hacks Hackstein MZ Hack Austin 2021 This isn't even 90 seconds long for me to gong it. fade in this song and I know that you're not going to do anything between now and then that's going to make this good I mean it's it's like fine but what the fuck is this here comes the fade what are you fading out of you didn't do anything yet Cleverly evaded the gong by making a song that wasn't even 90 whole seconds. Okay, well, I can't disqualify you because you've followed all the rules, but you didn't win. Thanks for nothing. Philip Oberheinrich. Are we just getting all the Germans today? What's the deal? Hi, Trey. Here is a link to a four minute and absolutely no additional seconds version of a song that ended up being way longer than I'd originally planned. The lyrics are written from the point of view of Polyphemus, who is seeking help following an assault by some mean Greek men. I need a cycloptician. Jesus, it's exactly four minutes. Bean 
Dog. Bean Dog. This is weird and fun. They were kind, they gave me wine. The town is taken to my eye. Look me in the eye and I ignore me. <laughs> Don't tremble, Jimmer, faint or cry. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. Your lack of confidence provokes me. Just do your job and face my eye. I do respect your Great. expertise. You pass the gun. Listen to that development in the rip. Not exactly sure what he did, but something changed. Hold me through. Oh, minor four chord. <laughs> Not expecting depth perception. you help me see? Cyclops is going to get his vision back. Can't tell if he dropped it out of that or if it's just weird. good i liked that a lot it was fun it was funny but not like goofy it had funny lyrics but it was delivered so well that i didn't think it was corny or like too silly it was like a good kind of silly kind of like how uh tenacious d they're really really incredibly silly but also jack black has the voice of an angel and all the songs are really well done so kind of had that kind of energy to me but also proggy so I really liked this. I would definitely listen to this again. I think you needed to do more with that riff. There was a lot of variation, like small variations of it, but I found that over the course of the whole thing, I, I got a bit tired of it. Even though it was pretty cool, cool little Lydian sound, it was mostly like just rhythmic variations and the drums kind of felt like basically the same notes. That's the only thing that I really think this song really needed actually. It was really good. Really good. Gong didn't really get much use today. 
that's great. Although that also means that we didn't get through nearly as many entries as I'd hoped. Unfortunately, the quality of the entries is going up. I guess that's just an inevitability as we get further away from the initial contest announcement. People put more time into them. They understand what it takes to actually write and produce a song. I don't want to have to use the gong, but at the same time, the idea is that we get more entries in per video and uh so far that hasn't happened but you know there's always next week so thanks so much for watching guys in case you were wondering the entries are closed for the contest so if you didn't already send me one you can't get in sorry but i already have so many so i don't really i don't really care i don't feel bad for you you waited too long but i will continue to react to the entries as much as possible until i am blue in the face probably so i'll see you real soon <laughs>